So this is uh, Valley View Municipal Campground, a little bit cheaper than some of the others in the area. But they still charge, where many municipal campgrounds are actually free or donation basis. But this is a self-registration. don't know. Normally that you just put the money in the envelope and uh, put who you are and your registration plate and somebody comes and takes the money and checks that it's you. But sometimes if you don't do it, they come knock on your door, but if they don't come check, you get away with a free night. But of course, we're obligated to do what is right, and what is right is we pay our 30 bucks here. They don't have showers, but they do have porta potties, and they provide water for the trailer and electricity, which is good. We're by Sturgeon Lake, by Valley View little provincial park just outside of town. Nice little beach, red lake. Brenda relaxing. We're at Red Weld and that is in Dawson Creek. There goes Brenda. And uh, he's kind enough to say we can uh, spend the night in his parking lot. Got a big open space here, and tomorrow morning he can do the work. Take him about three hours. During that time, we'll go off and look at the town. The welding work that needs to be done is actually on the hitch area tongue of the trailer. You can't really see anything. But if you get a level out and you do measurements, you can see it's not quite straight. Some of these roads have been a bit rough on it. He's just going to reinforce it somewhat. And we'll be good to go. So we're on the road to Tumbler Ridge. This road goes only to the town of Tumbler Ridge. It's a little bit isolated. But it has some interesting features there. See a few waterfalls dinosaur discoveries and nice views of lakes. They also seem to have a fair amount of wildlife according to them. But we'll have some fun hopefully at Tumbler Ridge. So we made it to Tumbler Ridge, just as well we didn't bring the trailer here. Yeah? Right, good road, man. twists and turns and ups and downs, steep inclines, steep downways. Center. Yeah, some information about the global geopark and some quick facts. These are the logs the visitor center is made of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and there's Brenda cutting us a uh, salad of bread and the local bakery. Those cookies. Uh, this is the spot in Dawson Creek of the Zero Alaska or Elkan Highway. So it says that this spot in the spring of 1942, at the height of World War II, the U.S. Army engineers began the construction of the overland route to Alaska. Even though it was in Canada. So uh, there's Brenda contemplating an upcoming drive on the Alaskan Highway up to Fort St. John. So I believe this is the last wooden bridge still in use up here in Alaska by the highway. So it looks like it's undergoing repair so there's a detour. Oh something. Radio time. Every year, and keep things rolling. And this time we 